One of the terms to describe the mind in concentration is mahagatang jitang, the enlarged mind, the enlarged awareness. As you're sitting right here, your awareness doesn't have to be confined by the body. You can think of it spreading out, encompassing larger and larger areas. It helps get rid of that sense of being confined, confined to space. Here we are still in lockdown, confined by your duties, what you had to do this morning, what you're going to have to do after you leave the meditation. Don't let your mind be confined by these things. And if you find that it does become confined this way, Take some time out to stop and enlarge it. Get a larger perspective on what you're doing. It's from this larger perspective that you gain strength. You become more resilient, more independent inside. We live here dependent on the goodwill of others, on the help of others. So you want to make sure that you're not abusing their help, that you live lightly. One of the reflections for the monks is that we're no longer, no longer part of the society. We're, our livelihood depends on other people. So we have to make ourselves easy to support. So all the ways we look for gratification in the world outside, we've got to turn around and find something inside to compensate. And having this enlarged sense of the mind is one way that helps. As the Buddha said, when difficult things happen, think of your goodwill as being larger than whatever it is that's happening, as large as the earth, as broad as the river Ganges, as huge as space, so that what the other people do can't have an effect on your goodwill. And with that enlarged sense, you have a much greater sense of strength inside. You feel less of a need to lean on other people, lean on things outside, lean on sensual pleasures, because you've got something better here inside. So this way the events of the day, the events of the world, don't crush you. And you're light on the world as, as well. Both sides benefit. This is one of the reasons why concentration is not a matter of just being at one point, because that can feel confining. You have your center, but from that center your awareness spreads out and fills the body. If you're dedicating thoughts of goodwill, that spreads out to all beings in all directions. If there's a sense of ease that comes with that, think of it spreading to fill the body. And if you feel like you've got some to share, just think of it radiating out. We can use the fabrications of the mind in this way to create a good dwelling for ourselves. Because it's so easy to use the mind's fabrications to make yourself miserable. In fact, that's the Buddha's analysis. We're, we're miserable because of our cravings. Our cravings are a companion that talk to us. And we believe them. So we've got to learn how to talk to ourselves in new ways, ways that are strengthening ways that help us exercise restraint, ways that make us better people all around, happier people all around. It lies within our power to do so. We're not here just to accept, accept, accept. We're here to create a foundation so that when there are things we have to accept, we don't feel run over by them. So work on this mahagatang jitang, this enlarged awareness. You will benefit, the people around you will benefit as well.